be on the screen each time i come around like this i want us to learn one or two things yes for those of you who are new here my name is joseph i am a microsoft certified trainer so we are going to be continuing from where we stopped in the last video and that's about um, guest users right if you've not watched that please do so that you can flow into the next one which is the last under users and that is deleted users but before I go into deleted users, I just want to show you one thing that is very important that I missed out in the active users series is how to reset users password. Let's say um, a user's password is compromised for a while and you want to make sure that nobody can sign into that user's environment. You can just quickly do this. Right. Um, you can go to block signing and then you create this and then you save this so that the user cannot sign in to Microsoft 365 services. Perhaps maybe because a sign in has been compromised somewhere. So blocking someone prevents anyone from signing in as this user. And it's a good idea when you think there is a password or username may, be comprom may have been compromised. When you block someone immediately, when you block someone, it immediately stops any new signing from that account. And if there is sign, if they are signing somewhere, they will be automatically signed out from M365 services within the next 60 minutes. Okay, so this won't stop the account from receiving emails and doesn't delete any data. So it's just for you to say you get a response that your user's account was compromised. You could quickly reach out to your admin to block this user from being able to sign in temporarily and that is how to do block signing if there is a compromise in a user's account okay so now anyone who has this email address who wants to sign in cannot sign in and let's say you want to unblock him from signing it may take up to 15 minutes until this can sign in again but before you even do that to so allow this user to sign in you come back here right and you say okay so that that guy will not be able to sign in again before i unblock this guy from signing in i want to reset his password and i want to reset it in such a way that it should automatically create a password for me and require that mike or bolus should you know change the password when he first sign into another signing you know so i just do a reset password for this guy and then is resetting the password when it's done resetting it will have the new password i can now say hey mike the guy who signed in earlier we have been able to block him from signing in and we have also reset your password for you so we can come here and then we can do this and then it will take about 15 minutes then mike will be able to sign in again this is just a security tip that i'm trying to give to administrators out there and even users too for you to re you know um uh, reach out to your admin anytime you know that your account is compromised okay that is that i saw that was very important for me to treat before we go into the last you know header in i mean under users right so we cannot do deleted users this is um, where to get the list of your deleted users. This guy was deleted, but I just want us to come back to active users and let's see something, right? Now, if I go to Deborah Smith that we created the other time and I want to delete this user, what I will do is I will come to Deborah Smith and check Deborah Smith here. And then I'll come to these three dots and then I'll go to delete a user. It's not just going to delete this user, but let's see the steps that it's going to take for you to delete this user. So it's going to come and process this for you. It's loading it up in a GFI to be ready. Yes, it is saying Deborah, delete Deborah Smith. You can restore deleted user and their data for up to 30 days after you deleted them. Data on their, data on their connected devices will be removed as well as the following then is doing this that microsoft 365 business standard will be unassigned from these users i will be available for you to assign to another user okay now it does not have uh, email alias uh, mail delegation permission it does not have okay so these are grayed out for him however give another user access to deborah smith's OneDrive for 30 days after 
users has been deleted of course you may want to just give that to a user unless we want to give that to joseph to have access to a onedrive while this user is deleted we could do this and just pick up joseph from here then it say give another user access to deborah smith's email uh let's say i want to do that and i want to just bring up uh check this now it is saying require give email access to another user right so bringing up that user that you want to you want to you know have you want to give access to this email this email will be saved as shared mailbox anyway and available to the user you are going to select you can manage shared mailbox in all of that so what it means is that you are converting that mailbox of deborah smith to a shared mailbox and you want to give any of these users access to that email address let's say i want to give this user access to the email address i can decide to give this user the access to that email address right and then when i do that what it means is that evelyn shaba is going to be having access to deborah smith's email even though the user is deleted now looking at it it will ask you again uh, use the current display name yeah you may decide to change the display name of the email address that will be showing that the emails on that shared mailbox for the user is going to have access of course want to leave it at deborah smith so that it is not misleading and then that's that and then we can do this if you want to give automatic replies to people in your organization who send email to deborah smith for Evelyn Shaba to have access to this is automatically required for you for your convenience. This email has been automatically forwarded to Evelyn. Now, looking at it, what is here? Let's take time to look at this. Thank you for contacting Joseph Trainer. This is the company. We regret to inform you that Deborah Smith is no longer employed here. Please direct any future correspondent to Evelyn Shaba at this. This is automatic automatic reply that the user is going to get for your convenience this email has been automatically forwarded to shaba at that point where that email was sent shaba evelyn is going to get it as under shared mailbox right but this user is notified that this email that you sent for convenience sake it has been forwarded to you know evelyn shaba but we are encouraging you when next you are sending an email that is supposed to be sent to deborah smith kindly send it to evelyn shaba all right and this is for people in your organization email from people inside of your organization if you want the same message to also be sent to people outside the organization of course you can also check this and say and also leave the same thing for people you can click on reply and then you may just copy this same information this same excuse me this same information here control a here c and then you do v here for people outside the organization to know as well if there's any changes you want to make here of course you can go ahead and make the changes so that maybe you don't want the same message to be automatically sent to the people outside the organization and the people in your organization but why not i just want the same information to be sent across to those who are sending deborah smith email when her account has been deleted so next we want to give Elia deleted email aliases uh then i just do next and then i transfer ownership to evelyn shaba and then that's that now i've assigned i've converted that to a shared mailbox and then it is converting to shared mailbox please don't close until you finish converting this users this user to a shared mailbox this is the only time after which we can go ahead and delete this user so let's just wait for it to load up and then it's on licensing the user now remember it was said that the license assigned to this user, the business standard that was assigned to this user is going to be removed from the user. And that is what has been done. Now, licenses on assigned Microsoft 365 and all of these. And then one drive access has been given to Joseph. Converted Shen mailbox and access is given to Evelyn Shaba. Automatically, Pry has been turned on for senders inside and outside of your organization. Then we can do close. Only then can we come back to this Deborah Smith and then now say delete user and then we have option to delete Deborah Smith from this account. So this now closes everything. Please don't close until we finish deleting the user. So Deborah Smith has been deleted. You can restore Deborah, you can restore deleted users and recover their data and recover their data except for calendar item and alias for up to 30 days for the deleted user of course you can i will drop this link in the comment section so that you can i mean on the description so you can also read this and then we can close but then if you want to restore deborah smith how do we do that that is the next thing right you just go to 
this click on deleted users and then this is deborah smith you can click on here and then you have option to restore user and then you just automatically generate password or let me create password for this user you can choose to do it right so you can now do restore and then it's going to restore deborah smith and we are going to find her back under active users so let's just hold on it's doing that and then password has been automatically generated for you know deborah smith and then we can say close so coming back to active user you know looking at the deleted user deborah smith is gone out of here therefore it's going to come back to active users page right so if you check active users now you are going to see that deborah smith is listed back as an active users but it's going to be on license because of course when you deleted her the licenses were removed from her so this is just a hands-on how to delete user transfer their you know um, uh, features or data to other users temporarily before you know uh, the user is permanently deleted so i'm sure if you have questions you know where to to meet me and ask me questions and i'll be happy to give answers to your queries let me just again show you my page just for you to have you know uh, a guide on how to reach me on linkedin i'm always available and happy to work in with you thank you again for this one and i hope that we'll keep encouraging ourselves drop your your concern in the comment section below you can also decide to share this with your friends so that they can learn as well thank you again